Greetings everyone, today we are going to talk about Jinglu's Redon. Upcoming Redon banners are Silverwood, Blade and Kafka. Silverwood on 1.5 second phase and Blade on 1.6 first phase, first phase and your Kafka is going to be on 1.6 second phase. After 1.6 Kafka's Redon in second phase we are directly jumping to 2.0 for some reason and we will probably see Imbibito Lunai and Fool's Ones read on banners. Many people in 2.0 is going to go for Imbibito Lunai because he is one of the best DPS in Honkai Star Wars. And on 2.1, if everything goes correctly then it's going to be Jinglu's Redon. On version 1.0, Tilly's debut banner came in and on version 1.1, Silverwood's debut banner came in. On version 1.4, Dilly's redon banner was in the second phase, and now on the second phase of 1.5, there will be Silverwood redon. On 1.6, first phase is going to be Blade's redon, and 1.6, second phase is going to be Kafka's redon. Now with this, on 2.0, it will be Lunai and Fuswan, and on 2.1, it will be Jinglu and Topaz and Nami. Now let me show you guys why Jinglu's redon is worth it. If you don't have Jinglu, let me remind you guys that Jinglu is very easy to build and her DPS is top tier. Why she is easy to build? Like her spectral transmigration gives you like 50% crit rate right off the start because with this you can easily build her also she gets a lot of crit damage and if you get her weapon then it's it's almost close to individual Luna's DPS. And if you already have Jinglu, then you can go for her Eidolon or her weapon super imposition. So 2.1 it is. People who are saving for Jinglu, good luck on your 50-50 and good luck on your 70 by 25 because that's the one I lost on Jinglu's Lightcone banner and it was very sad. But hopefully you guys will get what you want. Until then, see you guys. And thank you for watching this video.